Thanks for being with us once again on ECMID TV. Our guest in studio now has presented one of the most compelling papers I've personally heard at Congress on healthcare provision and basic provision of healthcare to refugees who are traveling in to his home country, Greece. Uh, Professor Soterios Siodras is here with us from Athens. Um, Professor, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to be with us. My pleasure. The issue of providing basic healthcare provision to refugees is controversial, yet essential in your view. Yes, it's essential. Uh, we see them as uh, normal people. They're allowed uh, to free uh, of charge healthcare provision, both uh, in the primary healthcare service as well as tertiary care service in our country. Uh, this was established by law in 2016. Uh, we have uh, had great assistance from uh, national and international NGOs for primary care health uh, services in, within the hosting facilities, especially in the islands that are overcrowded right now and uh, the mainland. Now, how many refugees have you dealt with in Greece, roughly, at this point in well, time? Well, uh, in transit, more than a million over the last couple of years. Uh, and right now, more than 60,000 are stranded in my country. Uh, I have to state here that the, the emergency, the EU relocation scheme hasn't worked that well. Approximately 10% of the, the initial agreement has been fulfilled over the last year. Uh, so there is a huge gap there that needs to be filled by other countries. Other countries need to take that role and alleviate Greece and Italy uh, as initially agreed. Thank God for the EU-Turkey agreement right now uh, that uh, helped and assist in, in decreasing the inflow of migrants in my country. So the, the flow has not been sustained over the last few weeks or months? Over the last few months has not been sustained. It's much lower than it has been in, in uh, the last year. And this is because of the EU-Turkey deal. But still very overcrowded on the Greek islands? Still overcrowded in the uh, EU islands, almost to the point that uh, the surge capacity has, has been uh, exceeded. Now, you've got governmental will to get involved in immunization vaccination programs? Yes, we had a big national campaign, uh, vaccinating, uh, giving, giving more than 30,000 shots in uh, little kids, especially targeting uh, vaccine-preventable diseases like uh, uh, measles, mumps, uh, rubella, and polio, poliomyelitis. Now, you mentioned that many of these migrants are actually migrant. They're moving through Greece onto further destinations. Yes. This doesn't stop you from vaccinating and providing basic health care. No, it doesn't. And uh, we provide them with a card, a vaccination card, so they have a record of their vaccination. You even go as far in Greece as to provide access to Greek schooling as well as health Yeah, this has been very, very important. And uh, we believe that uh, they're becoming part of our society. And uh, we accept them in our schools. And kids need to be educated, need to go to school. And this is what they are uh, there for, you know, become a part of the country. And so the ethnic diversity we're seeing is, uh, is, uh, is amazing. And the Greek people have been very, very... Uh, that was my next question. The Greek, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, They've been very welcoming. Very welcoming, yes. It's been amazing. Now, in terms of this healthcare provisioning and, and, and what exactly it is that you're doing, have you discovered any migrant diseases not generic to similar European diseases? No serious public health threats whatsoever. Uh, very, very few instances of um, uh, common uh, disease clusters like uh, infections, acute respiratory infections with fever, Gastro. the flu or diarrhea. Yeah. So absolutely nothing out of the ordinary, but these people haven't been vaccinated before. Yes. We need to provide a continuity of care, though. Uh, we need to provide follow-up for all those uh, hospitalized. We've seen a lot of uh, post-trauma, uh, stress disorder, and, uh, and, and we've seen a lot of um, uh, people uh, debilitated by injuries suffered during uh, the war that actually brought them over. And in all cases, Greece provides access to its medical facilities? Yes. Well, I admire you and your organization and your country remarkably. Thank you for the good work that you're doing, sir. Thank you. And thank you for taking time to come into thank studio you very much. and work with us today. Thank you.